Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Days of difficulty, days of confusion that are in front of us and moving very quickly towards us. The confusion from Masi Dajjal, the Antichrist, confusion from extreme negativity and bad character moving quickly through dunya and Prophet's teaching that three places would be safe. Mecca, Madinat al-Munawwara and Sham sharif Damascus. In times of Antichrist that these three places would be safe and for believers to move towards those directions to be safe and to be protected from the fitna and confusion of Antichrist and just very bad and negative times that begin to surround mankind. And Mawlana Shaykh's teaching for the understanding of, of these realities is that it's dressed from Holy Qur'an, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ati Allah, Ati ya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And from that reality, all realities opening, from that reality, secrets of tariqah opening, and from that reality is a safety for us towards our destination and towards our safety. First, level of the journey is directing towards Allah is obedience to Allah As we are moving and asking to leave shaitan, move towards Rahman. So everything in our life we begin to see all of these things and say, Ya Rabbi I'm moving from shaitan and moving towards the reality of Rahman, we begin to direct ourselves towards Allah and the love of Divine Presence. And as we are moving and trying to correct ourselves, asking to leave satanic kingdom and evilness and bad character, Allah begins to inspire us that if you are moving towards Me, and begin to move towards that door, direct yourself towards my Rasulullah. That you want me to be pleased with you, you want me to be happy with you, you want me to have that love and affection for you, then be with the one whom I'm already in love with. Not someone who's seeking my love but whom Allah loves. All the Prophets were seeking the love of Allah and Allah was already in love with Sayyidina Muhammad He's Habibullah, he's the Habib of Allah means the khuluq al azim the perfection of character. It's the love of Allah that when we clearly direct ourselves and it's a pure and sincere love Ya Rabbi, I'm seeking refuge in you from all of this craziness, all of these difficulties. Then Allah begins to inspire within the heart, direct yourself towards Sayyidina Muhammad He's going to perfect your love so that I will be happy with your love. Like a school, direct yourself towards the teaching of Sayyidina Muhammad love of Sayyidina Muhammad he alayhi salatu salam is going to begin to perfect that love. He's going to teach us the character that Allah loves, teach us how to pray, how to wash, how to fast, how to read our holy book, how to perfect ourselves in His alayhi salatu salam's perfection. So Ati Allah opens the door for Ati Rasul. If the love is sincere, 
That's why then the highest realities Allah are beginning to open. There are people who don't come to love of Sayyidina Muhammad and they're happy with a love of Allah that satisfies themselves and they make for themselves an Allah that <coughs> is from their own desires. But when the love is moving and it's a grant from Divine Presence, we're all here on that grant, not our cleverness. Many people think they're even born into Islam and they don't have that love of Sayyidina Muhammad so no. It's a lot, it's a grant from Divine Presence. When you love me and I'm accepting and I'm granting you that, now go and direct yourself towards the one who's going to perfect your love because this is all the safety for last days on how we're going to be safe. Many people are going to think they love Allah and they are not in safety because Allah Prophet was teaching Kaaba, Mecca is going to be safe, Medina is going to be safe and Sham Sharif. So Allah is represented by Mecca. Sayyidina Muhammad is represented by Medina to Munawwara and Sham Sharif is represented by Rijalullah, only Allah. That the power and the center of only Allah, the Sultan, its base is Shah Sharif, Damascus. So then Allah is just saying, perfect, come to me. When the love is perfect, I'm going to open into your heart, you find Muhammadan Rasulullah And then we begin to seek out the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad begin to read about his life alayhi salatu salam, begin to hear his salawats, begin to make that salawat on our tongue. That love of Sayyidina Muhammad and his Ahlul Bayt, his family, it's all encompassing in the love of Prophet That love of Prophet then Sayyidina Muhammad begins to accept our love and say, if you really love me and you want to obey Allah, follow the Ulul Amr so that you're under Allah's tarbiyah and under Allah's rida, rida and satisfaction. <coughs> So Allah, obedience to Allah opens the obedience and the following for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Means now the Kaaba is opening, that we're opening our heart because Mawlana beginning to teach us that in time of panicking it's not that you can get on a plane and fly to Medina and you'll be safe. It then if that was the case then everybody living in Medina are going to be safe and they're all from the people of Sayyidina Mahdi It's not true. Many people are going to perish and many that are not sincere will be gone and many that are sincere will appear. But Mawlana Shaykh teaching us before you can get up and run to Mecca and, and sit in Mecca waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi or run to Medina to Munawwara and waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi salam or Sham al-Sharif and run to Damascus waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi salam they're beginning to teach us that your heart has to be in that condition. You don't belong there if your heart is not from that reality. You are not from the inhabitants of Mecca Mukarramah if your heart is not filled with love of Allah and you are not an inhabitant of Medina. If your entire being is not sacrificed, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِ وَنُسُوقِ وَهْمَيَّهِيَ وَهْمَمَّاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ That unless your entire being is for Sayyidina Muhammad Every day asking, what can I do for you with my life, with my wealth, with my death, with my family, with my entire being? Is at your feet, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah, what I can do for you to be of service, to be Qur'an at your feet. Then that heart begins to be filled with Medina to Munawwara because it's not the location only that's important, it's not the house that's important, it's the one who occupies it. What makes the city holy is not the city. But the one who comes to inhabit the city, 
the Allah's creation. Allah's creation comes if there's a light in that heart it makes everywhere to be holy. We're not both paras thinking a building is holy. Eh, the holy one wherever he walks it becomes holy. So they're teaching us, are you running for a building thinking you're going to find safety in the building? Then you are both parast. You are idol worshiper. You think you're going to hold on to some rocks and because you held on to these rock and stone and brick it's going to save you. And that disaster going to pass you by and you're going to fool Sayyidina Mahdi and you appeared. InshaAllah. They said, no, what's coming is worse than the plague of Sayyidina Musa mm-hmm. It's coming on the wing of angels. Destruction does not come by shaitan. This is other people's belief <coughs> because in their books they write disaster and destruction as if it was from the devil because the devil wants people to think he has power. So they fear me, I bring destruction and always shows their God in a pyjama beaten and hanging on something. That's your God, I beat him. I bring destruction, Allah says, no, he brings nothing but confusion to you. Destruction is Allah's might. Qahar, Allah sends Qahar and on the wing of angels destruction begins to move. Every microbe and every sickness is traveling on the wings of angels. Like a little soldier, Allah's littlest soldiers. Allah doesn't need a tank (coughs) and doesn't need a bullet to destroy anyone. It's such a small micro that it just flies with the angel and hits and you see panicking, running and screaming. They say, clouds of radiation are coming, (laughs) run. Every radiation that's going to kill you, to make you sick is on a wing of an angel. It has an existence and that existence is under Malik al-Mulk. There is nothing under under or without the authority of Allah So Malik al-Mulk is determining, it's finishing. The game is over. If you are waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi then you must be from Kaaba Sharif. Your heart must be like a Kaaba. This is the reality of awliyaullah. That's why in all their poetry they will say, Oh you who are going for Hajj, where are you going? Your Kaaba is right here. You are directing yourself towards sticks to rocks and you don't know where you're going and what your intention and what is it that you are moving towards. So then awliyaullah were teaching us through all their writings that they are the living Kaaba. Means that Allah the light of Abdullah is living within their heart and Allah makes all of creation to make tawaf around their heart. So then they have a juzba and an attraction that begins to attract people from their soul to soul and they feel attracted towards that energy and they begin to move around that being because of the energy within their heart. Because Allah is just saying, that heart is a Kaaba, there's a Kaaba in Mecca but my light cannot be contained in heavens or on earth but I'm in the heart of that believer. And Sayyidina Mahdi coming with a different level of belief. All both parast is going to go. You're running towards buildings, no. You must be around those whose hearts are like Kaaba so that they can make your heart like Kaaba Sharif. Muwahid, love of Allah that only in their heart is love of Allah Atiullah and Ya Rabbi we're trying our best to obey you and Allah says, then you direct yourself to Sayyidina Muhammad You put your life, your death, your wealth, your family at his feet 
And if he says, you sit and die, you sit and die. If he signed off that nothing going to touch you, nothing going to touch you. If, if you know your account is correct, you have nothing to worry about. But if you have funny accounting and everybody knows themselves, only Allah know other people but they don't say anything. But if you know yourself and you know your books are good, then the auditor comes, no problem. Where the panicking will start is when we know our books are not correct. There must be problems there and the auditor is going to find them and I'm going to face difficulty and purification through these difficulties that are coming. And then they begin to inspire us that if you're loving Allah Direct yourself towards Medina, direct yourself towards the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And if your love for Prophet is with ikhlas, with sincerity, that, Ya Rabbi I'm loving you, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah, my whole life is for you, my love for your family, for your government, for everything that you love, I love. It's not my place to judge anyone whom Sayyidina Muhammad Loved, we loved. Whom are the blood and light of Sayyidina Muhammad we love. Then the Medina, the Munawara means the city of light begins to open within the heart. Kaaba becomes the container. The heart says, this heart is now ready to contain my light. Once Allah give permission, means the first door we're going is towards Allah He begins to fix the heart that this heart is sincere. I'm going to make it like a Kaaba. Now accompany those who are like a Kaaba. And when love of Sayyidina Muhammad begins to enter and the entire being is lost in the love of Prophet They can't live without hearing salawats. They find no happiness without constantly remembering Prophet And in every celebration it's not a celebration if they're not celebrating the life and the existence of Sayyidina Muhammad Then Medina means the city of light is now opening in the Kaaba. Because what light is going to open in your heart? Allah's light? There's no way Allah's light, if it touches us, qashya, we'll be dead. There's no way if Allah's light is going to come directly. Muhammad said, not even the drop of that ray you can contain that light. What light Allah is going to open? is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad in your heart. So your heart becomes Mecca and your heart becomes filled with Medina to Munawara. And the only way to achieve that is in the hands of the Ulul Am and they are the awliyaullah. That they are drinking, eating and taking from the reality of Medina to Munawara. If they are not eating from the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and his Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu salam. If they're not eating and drinking from that hand, there is no power, there is no reality and it's all facade and it all burns away. But if they are taking from that, they are the real Ulul Am. And then those Ulul Am, we become sitting at their door. So Prophet inspiring us, find these awliya. You want to be from Medina, find these awliyaullah. Then we found them. Now the journey, because we went from the love of Allah love of Prophet to love of the ulul am, the people of Divine Authority. The journey now begins at their door back into that reality. So now we're at the door of the ulul am and saying, protect us from these antichrists, protect us from these fitnas and difficulties that are coming, confusion has overtaken me. And the teachers learn how to enter into our heart. You'll find no safety unless it's in their heart. Because we just said their heart is Mecca, their heart is Medina and they are the reality of Shama Sharif, the Sultan of Shams. Means that all the Rijalullah, all awliyaullah are based out of sham. When you see them, this is just an imitation of their being, but they're 
reality is based out of Damascus. So at that door they're asking, you want to be safe from what's coming? Enter into that heart, there's no safety, there's nothing that's going to last unless you go into that heart. So then we begin to concentrate, meditate on moving into your heart. There is no cave, there is no safety, there is nowhere that will be protected except the heart of these awliyaullah. And then we begin to move into their love, begin to be occupied with their love that when we're praying, fasting, eating, drinking, thinking about them, asking that they dress us and bless us and fill us from that light, they begin to push that reality, push that light. Mawlana Shaykh teaching for us, it's like you have a wonderful laptop, best computer, you bought the best equipment you can imagine. But if you don't have Wi-Fi, that laptop not going anywhere. It's the best, it's the latest package unless it has the ability to log on to that Wi-Fi and receive that connection, there is no connection. It's a nice piece of equipment. So then they're teaching us at the door, now we're at the door, we have all of the equipment, we have that love, enter into that reality and their Wi-Fi begins to send, begins to send, send that which we are not capable of receiving. They're sending from their reality. And as we're moving in that energy, they begin to take us now into that connection and into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And only from their door you can enter into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And only from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad can you witness the magnificence and munificence of Allah's light. It's all through the heart of Prophet So we're praying that in these days of panicking, where am I going to run and where am I going to hide? There is nowhere that's going to be safe. If you buy one day, two days, one week, it's finishing. Only safety is in their heart with love for them that we move into their heart and they begin to dress our light from their reality. And as their light and their reality begins to dress us, bless us and move us into the presence of Prophet then the real Ahlul Bayt, they are the real Ahlul Bayt. The Ahlul Bayt of light and the Ahlul Bayt of blood, that they receive their certificate in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That they're able to bring that light and perfect and bring people to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and at that time that audience from soul to soul Prophet begins to send his light. And the light of Sayyidina Muhammad begins to dress those students. And that light is the only light that perfects us and that light is the only light that protects us. And anything that's lacking in that light will be burned off. Any imperfection in that light, if it reaches, reaches up to here, this much will be chopped, it's not perfecting. Means anything that is completed with the light of Sayyidina Muhammad is safe from difficulty. How Allah is going to punish the light of Prophet If Sayyidina Muhammad is signing that I'm going to put my light into that being, Allah says, if they are oppressors to themselves, Ya Rasulullah, and they come to you and ask for forgiveness, my forgiveness is already stamped with you. You have granted maqfira and my maqfira upon your maqfira, my hand upon your hand. So then awliyaullah are dressing us, testing us, perfecting us, enter into their heart and move into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That light has to begin to dress us, perfect us. If that light dressing us, Allah's light already blessing us. If that blessing comes, there's nothing that can touch with what Allah wants. Whatever Allah wants is going to happen. And if Allah doesn't want it, nothing going to happen. If everything is blown up and that abd under permission from Allah is just 
in namaz nothing will happen. Everything will burn except that servant. It's in Allah These are the days of faith. We said chapter 2 that Sultanul Awliya was opening, it's from action now is coming the world of faith. Means we can say, we can say, we can say but now become the days where saying doesn't mean anything. But the action and the ocean of faith is going to be visible. We pray that we move into that ocean, that we are protected into that ocean and that we move into that light, into that love and into that reality that only Allah bless us and protect us, bring us into the light, into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Prophet be happy and rida and present this to Allah's divinely presence, heavenly presence inshaAllah. Click the link now to subscribe.